Greetings folks, I hope we're all feeling as positive as we can at the moment in these tough times. I hope we're all washing our hands regularly, keeping distance when we can and continuing on. Anyway, I figured it was important to keep uh, being creative, keep making videos, because we'll have a lot more time for watching videos these days, I think. So what I'm doing here is uh, pursuing the idea that can INAV control a three channel plane. So that's with just with rudder, elevator, and no ailerons. Uh, so I've made up this dihedral wing, uh, just some, from folded uh, five mil Depron. I've got uh, two arrow shafts uh, joined by an aluminium joiner uh, with a little bit of a bend in the middle to hold the dihedral. I have a Matek F405 wing board there. This is an old Phoenix uh, fuselage version one. This is the one that I have the ASW wing mounted on for a slope saw. I've, I've put a uh, motor on the front there. Uh, what have we got? Sunny Sky 2212 980 KV with a 10x6 prop. Be pretty mild performance, but uh, that's kind of what I want really, just a cruiser so that I can work out whether I know it's going to work. I did try it out on the Tiger Moth body over there, but well, the day I tried it was just way too windy and uh, it wasn't performing well at all. It was wiggling all over the place. So I thought maybe something with a little bit smoother performance might work better. I had the rudder servo plugged into the aileron channel. So that's the, going to be the only direction and uh, roll control. And the rest is standard connections for INAV. But anyway, it's time to go and see if it's going to stabilise correctly and uh, work in return to home. I had the board mounted facing uh, backwards. It's just easier to get all the wires going into the uh, canopy there. So I've had to remember to change the yaw degrees in the setup page to uh, 180 degrees. So that turns the board 180 degrees around. And you just have to remember, if you're going to do some pitch adjustments, it's uh, you, I would now add negative three degrees instead of positive three degrees like I normally would but we'll have to see how that uh, works out in the field anyway. We have zero wind which is great it's a bit dull but uh, perfect day for trying the three channel INAV setup. We have enough satellites so we should be right to go. Line of sight first. Throttle active. Throttle active. No wind. And it's nice and mild, flying okay. I have enough control. Flying pretty stable and level. Now we're in manual mode. Probably needs to be on 4S, I think. But it's flying nice and smoothly. That's manual mode. Let's try angle. angle mode. Well, that looks pretty good. Come back this way. Angle mode again. Angle mode. It's doing what it should, I think. Well, if you try and divert from angle mode, it goes a bit wiggly. All right, let's try uh, altitude hold. Altitude hold. Well, it seems to work in calm weather. Do a return to home, see what happens. Return to launch. Turn to launch. Climbing, wiggling a bit. Getting ready to switch it to manual mode if I have to. Uh, it's working. More or less. This is good. It sort of spiral wiggles a little bit. Manual back in manual mode, back to acro mode. Acro mode seems to work very nicely. 
Mode. Angle mode. Angle mode's working well. But it is perfect conditions. Alright, let's uh, have a look at the FPV. Still gliding nicely, a little too nicely. Put it down. Well, it's not bad at all. I like it. It's full throttle, it's very mild performance. Goggles down. Ah, it looks good. Ah, yeah, very good. What do we do? Angle mode. Looks pretty good. How's the altitude? Holding pretty steady. Wanders around a bit. I'm not fussed about that. That's the current. Oh, it's only three amps. Oh, that's cool. Let's try altitude, altitude hold, 21 meters. See if it holds there. Doing pretty well. What happens when we try to turn? Yeah, it's all working reasonably well. Sort of. Whoops. Got a bit ugly there. All right, let's go up a bit higher. So the problem is when you try and steer it around while it's in a stabilized mode, it probably doesn't work so well. But for general flying and in acro mode, it's it's pretty foot pretty fine. Manual mode. What's it going down? Nose down for out of trim a bit maybe. Oh, that was probably downwind. So yeah, might need to move the CG back or adjust the elevator or do an auto trim. Up and away again. All right, let's try return to home return now. To See what it does. It's doing okay. Heading for home, 52 meters. Doing it pretty well. And because I haven't done it for a while, I've forgotten the sequence of doing auto trim and auto tune, so I won't worry about that just yet. But I'd have to say this is a success so far. Works much better than it did on the um, heavier Tiger Moth fuselage. I think a well behaved glider style plane in calm wind and uh, INAV can handle using the rudder as the ailerons. Three channel mode. While wiggles around a bit like that. And in a poorly behaved plane or a high uh, wing loading it could possibly tip stall but it's working well in this situation so there you go it would work well on a radian I would imagine uh, or other gliders as well other three channel gliders like the gentle lady but yeah I don't think you'd want to put a flight control board and a, a GPS on those planes really This plane, I would like a little bit more grunt because uh, it is pretty mild. Forest would do well. So there you go. That's a successful test, I think. And this plane setup works reasonably well. Um, but yeah, I'd always prefer, I'd always prefer ailerons, I think. This would be a very nice plane, just, even if I just cut some ailerons in this wing, but that works nicely, works nicely on INAV. Alright, 
thanks for watching and take care look after yourself do everything you can to stop the spread of this horrible virus and we'll all get through it together thanks for watching